Hello fellow aviators, aviation lovers and simulation enthusiasts and welcome to Pilot Dreams channel. Welcome on board. Today we're going to learn how to do the preliminary pre-flight procedure in a 737 and our teacher for today is going to be a real 737 pilot. That would be me. We're going to use the simulator because in real life there's always somebody breathing down our neck and rushing us to close door ahead of time and not miss our slot. This procedure is usually performed by the pilot monitoring for the upcoming leg whether it's the captain or the first officer and it's done the first thing when we come to the cockpit. Usually we're gonna find the cockpit with some sort of electrical power, other external power or APU power which was set by maintenance. If we come to a completely cold and dark aircraft there is a special procedure for that and you can find a link in the description below for that procedure. So without further ado, let's start with the preliminary pre-flight procedure for the 737. So when we come on board usually we're standing at the entrance to the cockpit. Here on the door or on the side over here we can find the aircraft documents and we check to see that they are valid. Staring down below we can find the crash X and we make sure that it's stowed properly. Usually over here there's going to be some sort of uh, protective fire hood that is stowed under the chair or beneath the chair. And here in this uh, little compartment over here there are going to be some fire protective gloves and spare paper for the acres printer. We're making sure that the captain's emergency escape rope is stowed over here. In case of emergency, the captain can slide the window open using this handle, put the rope inside and slide down. Not recommended unless it's a real emergency. We check to see the circuit breakers are all inside and if there is a circuit breaker that jumped out, we're calling maintenance. Now we move to the other side. Here we can find the observer oxygen mask. I will show you how to test this mask uh, during the pre-flight procedure because I can access in the simulation this one over here. Down below over here we're going to find the gear pins that should be removed in this phase. If not, ground personnel will present them to us in a later stage. Here in the floor, and let me zoom in, you can see this little door over here. This is the manual extensions access door for the gears. We have to make sure this one is closed, so usually I step on it with my foot with a little pressure. Next we check that uh, the fire extinguisher is stowed properly and over in the gauge we check to see there is enough pressure. Again checking the secret breakers behind the first officer and checking the emergency escape rope for the first officer, make sure that the spare bars are stowed and closed properly and now we move to the upper panel. So here in the upper panel the first thing we do we turn on the IRSs so they start aligning. Two clicks to nav mode for each one of them. On DC, supposed to extinguish after 10 seconds and the align light comes on. That's it, now the systems are aligning. After you turn on the IRSs, you go and start the flight recorder. If you have a manual flight recorder, the switch is supposed to be somewhere around here. In many aircraft, this is an automatic feature and you don't have to do it manually, but if you have to do it manually, the switch is over here. Next things, we're gonna check the oxygen pressure. Here we can see it about 1600 psi, which is good. Usually any number above 800 should be enough for a 737 typical round trip. After we check the oxygen pressure, we check hydraulic and oil quantity. So we take a look at the system and engine panel. Okay, and here at the uh, engine panel, we can see the oil quantity down over here. It's a percentage here in the simulator but in real life it's going to be a number and usually any number above 16 is okay. Usually below 16 ground personnel will take care of that and add some uh, oil to the system. Now we're pressing the system uh, switch and we can see the hydraulics over here. As you can see we can see hydraulic quantity as percentage. If it's uh, 76 or below an RF writing will be lit next to it meaning that you have to refill the hydraulic liquid and if the number is 106 that means the system is absolutely full usually there will drain some outside. When we're done checking this we go back to the upper panel. And here in the upper panel we start the left to right. By the way you can see that the align uh, lights are starting to blink that means that the alignment process is finished. So we press the, this test button for the leading edge devices annunciators and make sure all of them are lit. We check that the PSEU light is off and here there is a GPS light, sometimes there's going to be an ILS or a GLS light. Also we check that all of them are extinguished. The service interface should be off. The observer communication panel, if there is no observer it doesn't mean so much which, is, uh, which button is pressed and what are the volumes, what is important that it's supposed to be on normal. And uh, the switch over here is supposed to be on boom, not on mask. If it's on mask, it might cause communication problems. Going to the engine panel, make sure both reverser lights are extinguished. 
Also make sure the engine control lights, both of them are extinguished. And on the engine uh, electrical engine control switch itself, make sure the on riding is appearing. On for both of them. Then go and check the passenger's oxygen switch, make sure it's guarded on and that the passenger's oxygen on uh, light is extinguished. If the light is on, it means that passenger's oxygen mask has dropped in the cabin and we cannot proceed with the flight. Make sure you have three green lights for the gears and then proceed right and make sure the flight recorder is guarded on normal. Then you do the clacker test. You do the clacker test for the first officer. You hear that? Click, 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 click. I put the volumes a little bit down. Click, 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 click. This is the overspeed warning. And then we do the stick shaker or the store warning test. This is for the first officer and you can see the noise is coming because the stick is shaking. You can see the stick shaking over here. Okay, the first officer is working fine. Check the captain's side. That's working fine as well. So that was the end of the preliminary pre-flight procedure and the last thing we have to do is set the parking brake as needed. You can see the parking brake over here and you can see that the light is already on and the parking brakes are set. You can see the red light, let's just turn the parking brake off. You can see the light is off and put it back on. So this is the end of the preliminary pre-flight uh, procedure tutorial and in the next video we're gonna learn how to do the pre-flight procedure and checklists and until next time, fly safe and goodbye.